my channel, Sticker Designs by Mel. I'm Melanie. First, let me apologize for having band-aids in this video, and I did not paint my nails because of the band-aids. Um, I had a fight with my heavy-duty paper trimmer. It won, so I have a few injuries. So I thought it best to have the band-aids there, otherwise you will be seeing my fingers which have been a little bloodied. So, yes, that's where we're at. All right, so for today's video, now that I am starting to get caught up, we are going to set up the month of August. No, apparently I'm going back in time. The month of October. Eey, I, I'm kind of wishing it were summer again because the start to this year has been quite interesting, this school year anyway. All right, so we are going to set up the month of October. So here we go. This is the October monthly in my Erin Condren Life Planner. I have my October sticker kit. This one is formatted specifically for the Erin Condren. So I have the date covers, the sidebar numbers and boxes, some functional boxes, and then I have the add-on, which is some scripts, boxes, and some really skinny washi. So that's what I'm going to use to put this spread together. And since this is my, we'll say, newer life planner, um, when I switched this in July, I didn't switch over my little, um, what do you call it? The little sticky notes I had on the side that had all of this stuff coming up. So let me go see if I can find that before I forget any of the important things coming up. All right. Well, apparently I didn't have anything in my other life planner. So I guess that means I didn't have anything super important happening yet as of when I had my other life planner. So let me just go ahead before I begin and white out a few of these holidays that don't apply to me. Not that I don't respect them, but they're not holidays that I observe. So I'm just going to wipe them out. I um, Do I want to leave Halloween? I might wipe that out. I think I have another sticker I can put there. Anything on the side? No. Okay. So it's going to be fun trying to do this with my hand because my fingers are quite sore, but I will do what I can. So I hope everyone has been having a good week so far. Um, other than this incident with my paper trimmer, my week has been good. Um, the start of the school year has been crazy busy and I'm way off to the side sorry so the start of the school year has been crazy busy um I my principal spoke to me on Friday and it seems like they are changing my timetable at the end of the upcoming week which will be I guess the start of October and yeah so I'm being moved out of one class and moved into another class because our school is we have more students than we um have teachers in classrooms so they're having to do some reorganization and that means not only moving students around which is something we've been used to before but also means moving teachers around which that is completely new to me i have never before had my timetable changed once the school year began. So this will be a learning curve for me. So we'll see how that goes. Just going to put the dates down or the days of the week. And my silhouette did not cut these out properly. It might either be the mat or the blades. I might have to check that. Alright, so we have those. Um, so I have not filmed a lot in the month of September. It has been quite 
a busy one. So not only was the school or the start of the school year crazy busy, um, also back to my part-time job. So that's been busy. I have a lot of stuff to get started for the start of the year there. And then, so our youngest, which uh, if you are not new to my channel, you would know that our youngest daughter was an acro gymnast, a competitive acro gymnast. And um, given some things that were going to happen this year in terms of her not having a partner and all of those things, uh, my husband and I, we made the decision to switch her out of acro and we did find something that she is super happy with so she, i am proud to announce that she is now a level three cheerleader so i am now entering the world of cheerleading and don't get me wrong i'm super excited i love the sport of cheerleading i have a lot of respect for cheerleading i know some people have a lot of misconceptions about it thinking that they're just, you know, on the side of the football field and cheering on the team, but it is a physically demanding, challenging, and uh, very athletic sport in my mind. So I am excited that she is happy with cheerleading. I'm excited that she's found kind of her place in a team. So super happy about this happening. Now, what do I have going on in October? Do I have anything specific going on in October? Let me first look at my perpetual calendar and see if I have... I know I have a couple birthdays. Two of my nephews have birthdays this month. So I will have to add that. Now, do I have my... I have payday. Do I have birthday stickers in here? I don't remember which stickers I have. So I have Payday. I'll move those off to the side. I don't need them. And no, I don't have any happy birthday stickers. Hmm. That's okay. I have it on my monthly add-on. So let's go ahead and list those birthdays first so I don't forget. So we have on the 19th is one of my nephew's birthdays so justin he will be turning 14 so he's just a few months younger than our son so i know i have birthday here yeah right here so birthday and then my other nephew my godson I'm going to have to make this one a smaller sticker because it's a small box. He is on the 30th, and he will be 16. So I think he is going to try to write his G1 test. And for anyone who is not familiar with the Canadian kind of graduated licensing system, the G1 test is a written... Um, driver's test, a written driver's examination that you get uh, first year G1, so the first level of a graduated license, where now you can um, drive with a qualified driving instructor. So hopefully he will be writing his test this month and get that so that he can start learning to drive. I think he deserves it. He has been a really good child. Um, not a child anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, so let me just list the paydays really quickly. So it will be, I believe my next payday is, oh my good gosh. People, I put the dates, the days on the wrong, oh, this is supposed to be Thursday. I'm going to have to change all of that. So Thursday. So if I get paid there, that means I'm getting paid on the 13th. And then getting paid again on the 27th. I put these days as if they were... As if it was a weekly spread. So give me a minute. Let me go ahead and change these. Alright, I changed all the days of the week. So now it's Sunday through Saturday. I don't know what I was thinking. 
but that completely messed me up. So my two paydays are here, so we're good. Now, on Saturday the 1st, I will be, that will be the second day of the PGP, so the Planner's Gonna Plan Conference in Toronto, so I'm super excited um, that I will be attending that. So, P... GP Canada. Leave me a comment down below if you'll be at the PGP conference in Toronto. I would love to know who will be there and who I will get to meet. I am so excited. Um, okay, so PGP, I have the birthdays, so let me just put so. My nephew Justin will be 14, and my nephew Nicholas will be 16. Sweet 16 already. Can't believe it. Okay, um, aside from this, I know I have Halloween, which I don't have my Halloween or my holiday stickers, so... I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, okay, so my daughter has an appointment on the 11th, so another update, something that's been keeping me busy, is our oldest daughter, our dancer, um, she went on a field trip with her class. Um, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, so it's been about a week and a bit, and um, they were doing some team building activities, one of which was to uh, have her partner carry her and then race to the other side to beat the other teams. Well, it seems her partner tripped and dropped her, and then not only that, but since she dropped her and she was tripping, she also fell on her foot. So, um, our oldest daughter now has not been dancing, clearly. We, I did take her to the hospital because right away there was some swelling. She wasn't able to put much weight on her foot. Um, so took her to the hospital. They had x-rays and the doctor said, so the doctor said there's nothing showing up on the x-ray, like nothing at all. Um, and when we went to the fracture clinic a couple days later, and they reviewed the x-rays as well, the doctor again said, nothing is showing on the x-ray, but they are calling it a growth plate fracture. And the feeling of this is more that it's a precaution to make sure that her foot heals well. Anyways, so she's potentially out of dance for about three weeks. So until the 11th, she has more x-rays. Um, to see how her foot is healing. And um, I'm hoping to get her into some physio to not let her foot get, um, I don't know, lazy if you want to say. So she's still using her muscles because she needs to get back to dance. Um, yeah, this is the worst time, one of the worst times. So another worst time would be right before comp. Um, but this is a bad time because this is when they are learning new skills to put new choreography together. Um, and without those new skills, she will not be able to be in some of the choreography. So not excited about that. So we're hoping that it is not a growth plate fracture, that there is actually no fracture, that it might just be a sprain or whatever, and she can just do physio and get back to all the things. That's the hope. So, aside from that, I feel like there's nothing else exciting going on in October. I feel like, am I missing, other than Halloween. So we know Halloween is coming. That is a for sure. So maybe I'll put an orange box for that. Because, I mean, it's Halloween. Um, other than that, though, I don't foresee... Anything else coming? I'm going to have to put the 31 because it's slightly hidden by that box. If I can get this off of the sticker sheet. Come on. 
yeah, my machine did not cut this out properly, but I'm going to deal with it because it's just me. If this were for a customer, I would have to redo it, but just for me, I don't care. Okay, so we have that. I really honestly don't think I have anything else. So I know cheer is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, possibly something on Monday. So she's still doing a lot of training. Right now, dance isn't happening. Um, I have PGP this weekend. And other than that, I feel like I don't have anything else. So let me just write in. Halloween until I can find my holiday stickers. Okay, so apparently I have forgotten that I'm Canadian. <laughs> uh, just don't ask. Anyways, we have Thanksgiving in October, so I am missing the Thanksgiving holiday here. So let me just go ahead and do I want to put a full box there? So our Thanksgiving weekend is the 8th, 9th, and 10th. The 10th is Thanksgiving Monday, so there's no school that day, no work that day. Do I want to put a full box? I might, depending if this full box wants to cooperate. And it doesn't seem it wants to. No, so I'm not even going to fight with that. Let me go ahead and just add this box here. And we'll put this here. So this will be Thanksgiving Monday. So I will put the number 10 if that one will come up. I should have checked these before I came on camera, but I have been in a hurry like nobody's business and that's not moving. So let me just put the number 10 here. And I'm going to put I almost wrote that wrong. Thanksgiving Monday. So I know that there is no school, no work that day. So we are off for that whole weekend. So that is exciting. That means it's coming soon. So that'll be a nice break. Now, now that I've remembered about Thanksgiving, oh, is there anything else? I have to really think about this. I don't think there is. I honestly don't think I have any other planned activities for October as of right now. So I'm going to leave it as this for now. I'm sure with school and stuff, things are going to start getting added on, but... I think for right now, this is about it. It looks pretty plain. This is not a calendar I'm used to. Usually we have a lot more things going on. And one thing, you see, I am remembering things as we go. All right. One thing is I do have something going on this weekend for my part-time job. We are having an overnight activity which I am not excited about because I do not like sleeping outside at any time of the year, but even less when it's cold. And yes, it is already cold up here in Canada. The last few days have been a little chilly. So it's already been like sweaters and almost putting the heater on. So I do have this going on. Let me put this box here and I'm just gonna write fall FTX so that is going on that we can see now that I'm remembering things things are filling up so okay I have that I don't think honestly I don't think I have anything else going on early in the month and I'm pretty sure that's about it. So let me just add a few things to the sidebar. I'm going to do this month up at the top here. I will do um, important 
right here because I do have a few things I need to get done. I need to call the dentist for the kids for their regular checkups. I need to get my son some new glasses, just all the things. So I have some things I need to get done. All right. So I'm going to leave it here. I think this is about everything I have right now scheduled for the month of October. So it's not a lot, um, but it is starting to fill up a little bit. And I'm sure I will have more to add on as the month progresses. So that's it for me for this monthly plan with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I set up the month of October. Still can't believe we're almost in October, but there we are. Please remember to like and subscribe, especially if you're new to this channel. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I planned this. Um, yeah, leave me a comment down below, say hi, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, everyone.